today to show you all my new wig that I got and um, I'm using my cell phone to record so it may be a little shaky but um, this is a full lace wig as you can see here I have a little part here on the side but um, it's a full lace wig it has the lace all the way around and what I love about it is that I can part it anywhere as you can see and can't really part with my finger but you get the logistics of it but um I I did a little small little part here nothing too deep but just a real small small part and I love it um I love it so far uh oh and, I mean, it's a cheap wig. I got it for less than $40. I mean, I don't expect it to last long, but I have had one of these wigs by, um, it's a Free Tress Equal brand lace front. And I have the packaging right here. This is actually the, as you can see, it comes in a little box like this. And then it shows the full lace. And then this is the brand. It's the Amory. And I have a color number one. But um, yeah, it was it was right at $40 with tax and everything. But um, I love it. Like it's bone straight. It lays super flat. I have, my hair is extremely, extremely thick. My natural hair. So I have about, I think, eight braids eight um corn rolls going straight to the back and then i have a wig cap on so that's how they're able to lay as flat as they are and then the wig the lace like the trap the hair on the actual lace lays super flat as well so that's how i'm able to have this bone straight look but um yeah i just wanted to show you all my latest hairstyle because I get told a lot I you change your hair all the time I really do I change my hair probably every week and if I don't change it every week I would change it every week if I had the opportunity but most of the times I am changing my hair every week because I get bored really fast and I'm not one of those girls that can just go out and spend three and four hundred dollars on virgin hair I have virgin hair. I have purchased virgin hair and I I have had virgin hair given to me as well. So virgin, getting virgin hair isn't a problem because I have, I think, three, three different textures of virgin hair under my cabinet right now. But with me changing my hair so much and then with it also, you know, it's spring, it's getting warm and I like being creative with my hair. I change my hair all the time. So there's no point of me buying $400 hair if I'm not going to keep it up or if I'm going to want a short hairstyle next week I'm not going to put $400 hair in and then go cut it off and then have to go back and buy $400 hair again once I once I'm ready for long hair you know what I'm saying so when I know that I'm going to have my virgin hair again for a while then I will purchase some virgin hair um, like I have a big trip that's coming up next month in May and I'm going to purchase some virgin hair. Well, I plan to purchase some virgin hair unless I change my mind and get my hair a different way. But right now I have a certain look that I'm going for 
um, for my trip. So I plan to get some virgin hair so I can achieve that look. But other than that, I'm more than likely going to be going to the beauty supply to get my hair because before this whole virgin, uh, before this whole virgin hair trend came along, I was purchasing hair from the beauty supply. And I bought my first bundle of virgin hair back in 2011. And ever since then, I've been wearing virgin hair, but it's just like, I don't know, it's not that big of a deal to me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, before the virgin hair, like I said, I was going to the beauty supply and I was getting Remy hair and Saga and um, Femi and Milky Way and, all, you know, <laughs> before... I was getting Milky Way before the whole Remy hair came along. But, um, yeah, so it's just... I know what I know what to expect out of the beauty supply. If I purchase a great quality of beauty supply processed hair, I know it's going to last me a while. It's hard to determine with this virgin hair because all these people that are selling virgin hair, it's, some of it isn't really virgin hair and it don't last as long. So at least I know what I'm going to get when it comes to the beauty supply. <laughs> so... And especially with me changing my hair as much as I do, you know, I, I go with the beauty supply hair until I'm ready to wear virgin hair for a long period of time. But um, back to what this video is actually about, this uh, free tress full lace wig. And like I said, it was under $40. So, um... Yeah, it was under $40. So if you just go to your local beauty supply and ask for the equal brand, equal lace front, Amory brand, Amory style number one or whatever color you desire. And you will be able to achieve this look. I have a little of my baby hair out. And then I have it parted here. And I did, in order to get my um, my part the same color as my scalp, I did use some of my LA Girls Concealer. And I used a um, angle brush and I just dabbed it on there. So I started from here and then just used my concealer and dabbed it on there. And that's how I'm able to achieve this natural look here. So yeah and this little thing right here is all because of Eve she just didn't want to do right so yeah but I just wanted to show you all my hair and I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope that it was helpful and if you have any questions if I miss something that you are wanting to know just leave a comment below and I will um, get back with you all as soon as possible. Um, so, yeah. But I hope you all are having a great day. And I will see you all in my next video. Remember to always be different. Girl from the country. She's just a little too perfect. She's just a little too working. She's just a little too perfect. She's just a little too working. She's just a little too perfect. She's just a little too working.